Okay, it looks like um, we've got some folks on the call. So we'll go ahead and get started. Welcome everyone. Thanks for joining our webinar today. Um, we'll start by introducing ourselves and sharing a little information about our program. And if this is your first time learning about Kelly Direct, we would encourage you to also reach out to us to learn more and or visit our website um, as the majority of our webinar will feature five outstanding students and alumni and we'll introduce them shortly. Um, so to start out, I just wanna introduce myself. I'm Julia Ailes. Um, I'm our Senior Associate Director of Enrollment Management, which means I get to work with our great admissions team. I'll have one of my colleagues, Abigail, introduce herself as well. Awesome. Welcome, everyone, to our Women in Business webinar. My name is Abigail Harris, and I am one of our Associate Directors of Admission here in Kelly Direct. So I'm one of our admissions counselors. Uh, I also do a lot of work with our external partners, like the Forte Foundation, which we will hear more about in a second. Great. Thank you, Abigail. And um, before we get into our panelists, we just want to share a little bit about what we think um, makes Kelly Direct so special. Um, so we're thrilled to share that we've recently been ranked number one um, for online MBA across all three major ranking organizations. And while it feels really good to be acknowledged as the best, what is really better is to understand the elements that set our program apart. So in Kelly Direct, you'll learn from the best with the best. And so our signature curriculum has three integrated core sequences and 50% electives, which has this lovely balance of structure and customization, including seven different majors that you can choose from. Um, and these courses are taught by full-time Kelly School of Business faculty, and we are blessed to have over 125 of them working with our students. Um, so you'll not only learn from experts, but also with a diverse group of peers who bring a variety of personal and professional experiences into the classroom. Um, our classes are also taught live, and so you're getting um, a chance to interact with faculty and those peers real time um, twice a week in your courses. And then speaking of networking, really the, the opportunity to network is what sets our program apart from others. Um, not only do we have the largest living global alumni network of, from the Kelly School of Business, um, we offer um, two required residencies called Kelly on Campus and Kelly on Location, um, as well as optional global and domestic immersions um, where you can build that network and apply what you're learning in the classroom in real time in a variety of settings all over the world. Um, and so we think our program is pretty great and we're excited that it's been recognized um, formally for that as well. So um, again, if you want to learn more, feel free to visit our website or contact us. We'd love to talk more about the details about what makes our program special. But I do want to turn it to Abigail to share a little bit about um, some of the ways in which we are supporting um, women in, um, in our program. Thank you, Julia. So yeah, I'd love to share a little bit more about the Forte Foundation with you all today. Um, some of you may have heard of Forte before, but if not, Forte is a nonprofit foundation. Their whole mission is to support women in business and to increase the number of women in leadership positions and companies all around the world. So they've partnered up with a bunch of different business schools and corporate partners. And here at Kelly Direct, we are one of their MBA school partners, which basically means that all of the students in our online MBA program have access to a free professional membership with Forte. Um, so that gives you access to lots of different professional development and networking opportunities. Um, specifically, Forte hosts every year several different conferences and events. Every summer, they have their in-person women's leadership conference. Last year was in LA, and I think you'll hear later from one of our panelists. She actually was able to attend that conference with me, but that's a great opportunity to go to different breakout sessions, connect with employers, and grow your network of women in business. They also have a good number of other virtual um, conferences and career fairs. Um, some of them are free, some of them have a small fee, so lots of great opportunities there. Um, Forte also has a job center where you can connect with employers and job postings from the 70 different corporate partners that Forte has. And with your professional membership, you also have access to lots of different online trainings and webinars, such as their Women Lead webinars and Conquer Your Career webinars. And lastly, we now offer Forte Fellowships here with Kelly Direct. So this is a new offering that we're really excited to have for our applicants. And um, this is one of our scholarships that you can apply for whenever you are in the interview stage of our process. 
So I think we can go ahead and go to the next slide. We have more information on our scholarships um, that we have. There are currently five different merit-based awards that we offer. Um, again, the first of those is the Forte Fellowship, which is open to any women applicants to apply for. We also now offer the Ramba Fellowship, which stands for Reaching Out MBA. This is another um, partner scholarship that we have, and this is open to students who identify as LGBTQ+. We also have a more general scholarship that's open to any applicants called Kelly Direct Momentum Scholarship. We have our Inclusion and Belonging Scholarship for students from marginalized groups. And then lastly, our Military Service Scholarship. The maximum um, award amount that we typically offer is $25,000. And that is awarded equally over the um, time of your entire program. And again, the application process is pretty easy. We just ask for a short essay. And if you decide to apply, you'll be um, told more about that process in your admissions interview. And I think back to Julia. Great, that's it. Thanks, Abigail. Um, now we're excited to get into um, the highlights of our webinar. Um, I also just want to mention too that um, any participants can feel free to use the Q&A function if you have a question that you'd like to ask. Um, we'll monitor that Q&A. If it's something really quick, um, we might be able to answer it um, via the Q&A, but if it's something that um, is uh, more for the panelists, then we'll see if we have time to, to pause and, and check in with them um, as we move through the webinar. Um, so as we get started, um, we'll uh, ask each panelist to introduce themselves um, and tell you a little bit about um, what they're currently doing, as well as perhaps why they chose Kelly Direct to pursue their online MBA. Um, so I'll just uh, kind of call on folks as I see them on my screen. Um, so we can go uh, maybe uh, Samantha, Lauren, Anna, Priya, then Katie. So if you guys want to just kind of popcorn to each other, we'll start with Samantha. Sure. So thanks again for joining us. Um, I'm currently, as this is on the screen, a pricing strategy senior associate um, at J.P. Morgan Chase. I live in the tri-state area, um, work currently in Manhattan. Um, and I decided to go with Kelly Direct MBA because I just needed that flexibility with my work schedule and also um, you know, as I was looking around at different MBA programs, um, they really came highly recommended by their alums. Like I connected with a lot of alums on LinkedIn and everyone had wonderful things to say about the program. Um, and that really drove me, you know, to select Kelly Direct. Hi everyone, I'm Lauren Radin and I'm from Los Angeles, California, which is very far away from Bloomington. I am currently a GRC senior analyst at Salesforce, and I am more on the program management team. I chose Kelly Direct because I wanted a top tier program, and when I decided to do online, it was a no-brainer that I would choose Kelly. Um, and also, being from the other coast, I knew there were a lot of opportunities to be in person and connect with students. So I'll talk about that more in a little bit, but um, all of those combined really influenced me to choose this program. Hi everyone, I'm Anna Ruiz. I'm currently a senior product marketing manager at Splunk. Um, and just to add, you know, some of the reasons that I chose Kelly, similar to Samantha and Lauren, but um, I also wanted something that offered small class sizes and that we could meet, you know, through Zoom and have those uh, very um, important discussions during class time. And I also wanted something that offered in-person um, immersion programs where we could actually all connect together um, as a class. So. Those were some of the reasons I choose Kelly. And I'm based in Dallas, Texas. Hi, everyone. My name is Freya. I'm currently based out of South Florida. I am a consultant um, with Deloitte. Um, one of the main reasons why I chose Kelly Direct was the flexibility and being able to connect with um, my classmates in a meaningful way with the um, um, in-person experiences. Hi everyone, I'm Katie Zinsky. I am in Pittsburgh um, and kind of like Priya, I also work for Deloitte. I'm an advisory manager. Uh, I think for me, I chose to go with Kelly Direct for a lot of reasons, but really in working for Deloitte, there's a lot of alumni there and everybody that I talked to had nothing but positives to say. Uh, both about their experience with other students, 
with professors and just the program in general. Uh, and that just to me really speaks volumes that anything I asked never once was I told anything negative. And so for me, I, I just felt like I had to experience that for myself. Awesome. Thanks to all of you for sharing a little bit about yourselves. Um, we'll go into some more detailed questions here, but again, feel free to use the chat to, um, or the Q&A function to ask some questions. So first, I'd like to hear from our alumni, um, Katie and Priya, and if you could share with our, pan our um, participants, what did the roadmap to getting your degree look like? So how long did it take you to graduate, um, job changes or advancement, family, work-life balance, etc.? cetera? Um, either of you can go first. Sure, I'll, I'll start. Um, so for me, I actually, the, the process was kind of interesting. I had originally applied uh, probably back in 2016 or so, uh, and then life happened, and I elected myself to kind of step back, and I just didn't have time. And so then in 2018, I applied again, uh, ultimately starting in 2019, uh, and I completed the program just this past December. So it took me about three years. Uh, and in that three years, uh, a lot happened. You know, life does happen, um, especially, you know, jobs. Um, I found out probably three weeks prior to my first class that I was pregnant with my second child, uh, which was kind of unexpected. Uh, so it, it kind of threw things for a loop a little bit. Um, it, it ultimately made me take that three years versus trying to do it shorter like I'd originally planned. Um, but that was the great part about the program and, and being a mom is I was able to take some time off because I, you know, had a new child at home, uh, and be able to go through that. So there was from my family life, a lot changed and the program was really supportive throughout all of that. Um, uh, from a job perspective, I joined when I first started the program, I was already an advisory manager. So throughout the program, you know, thankfully for me. Uh, I stayed in the same position the entire time because I had a team that was really supportive uh, and understood what I was going through and, and was willing to kind of work with me as I as I got uh, through the program, through my family life and and through the crazy times as a, a manager at Deloitte. Um, so it, it's everything was positive, but it, it was quite the journey. Great. Um, Go ahead. <laughs> so for me, it was a little bit different. I um, started applying to MBA programs February of 2020, thinking that we were going to have in-person part-time programs. And then, of course, you know, everything that happened at the beginning of March um, kind of switched gears. I realized that um, even if I chose a part-time program, there was a chance that throughout my MBA program, we would never be able to meet in person. And so at that point started exploring other programs and that's when I discovered uh, Kelly Direct as an MBA program. Um, so I started August of 2020 and I did the expedited path. So I wrapped up my um, or whole course load in about 24 months. So I graduated August of the past year. Um, I also did a little bit of a jump where I was switching jobs. So I switched from industry to consultancy. Um, and it was it was a lot, but I um, both with my classmates and with my coworkers and my teams um, had a really supportive environment. So um, all of our professors are very, very aware that life, can come at you very unexpectedly. And so they're very understanding when, when sometimes, you know, work comes up or family comes up. And so that was kind of my experience with, with the program. Great, thanks to both of you for those insights. Um, switching gears a little bit, um, we wanna hear from um, our student, our current students a little bit about their experiences networking in the program. So I'll start by asking um, Anna and Samantha to share a little bit about your experience with Kelly on campus since it's more fresh for the both of you um, and how that maybe uh, impacted your time in the program and set a foundation for the rest of your time. So either one is welcome to go first. Yeah, I can start. Um, so I started my MBA program 
in the spring of last year. So I know it's different depending on if you start in the spring or in the fall. So I took my first course classes and then I was able to go um, to Bloomington last uh, spring. And it was honestly like the best four days ever. Like it was a time to disconnect from work, get to meet the people that I had already been, <clears throat> excuse me, in classes with for an entire semester and had gotten to know through Zoom. So like connect with them, connect with the professors, really set a foundation for meeting a lot of students that I was gonna be in classes um, in the following semesters. And it has been one of my favorite parts of the program. I got to go back to Bloomington in a couple of weeks and I'm super looking forward to it. Um, I have two little ones and a very supportive husband. So it's also nice sometimes to get away as a mom and just have um, alone time, which you usually don't have um, for anyone listening who has little ones at home. So it has been my favorite part of the program. It really sets a foundation for meeting students, for them building groups and building friendships. Like it's crazy and it, it's gonna sound crazy, but in those four days I have made friendships that I know will last a lifetime. And I will echo that sentiment, right, Anna? Um, you do start with your online classes for core one, and then you get invited to on campus, and then later in your program, you get invited to on location, right? And it's always nice to meet someone in person and go to a happy hour with them and network. And um, it's also, um, you know, really important, I think, to develop those relationships. Some of the people I met on Kelly on campus are now very close friends friends. Um, in fact, like, you know, I'm looking at going to some weddings and it's just really nice to connect in person. Um, and I'll speak on this a little bit later, but as part of women in business, um, you know, we're looking to do some more in-person meetups around these dates, right? So whenever we all get together as cohorts in on location or on campus, we're trying to do either happy hour or a networking session to kind of connect and build a bigger network. Um, and it's always nice, like Anna said, to kind of get away from the hustle and bustle of work and home and um, really disconnect from that part of life and really, um, you know, immerse yourself in what Kelly has to offer. Great. Thanks to both of you for sharing about um, KOC. Um, I wanted to tap Lauren to talk a little bit more about some of the other in-person experiences. I know she's taken adv full advantage of those throughout her time in the program. So Lauren, can you share a little bit about um, some of your experiences on immersions um, and maybe Kelly on location as well, and even the Forte conference that you attended? Yes, and this is my favorite part of the program. Um, like I mentioned earlier, it's one of the main reasons why I did the program. And I'm really lucky that I started the program when they started spitting up a lot of these programs again. Um, so I've been, um, international to Thailand with the global business class, which was amazing. Um, also with one of the domestic classes, I got to go to the consumer electronic show in Las Vegas with my class. And that was really unique because most of the class was in Las Vegas, seeing all the entrepreneurs and the venture capitalists and doing assignments within that. So that was unique, very hands-on. Um, like mentioned, I also got to go to Bloomington to start my program for Kelly on campus, which is where I met most of my really great friends that I've been friends with throughout the entirety of this program. Um, and then at the exact one year mark, I got to go to Chicago for Kelly on location, which was amazing and got really, really windy the second to last day. So I got to experience what the Windy City really is. <laughs> Um, and then my upcoming or my last semester this upcoming summer, I'm going to go do the public policy residency in Washington, D.C. So I'm not sure how that will be yet, but I've heard it's great. So I've definitely wanted to take advantage of all the classes that had in-person components, especially because I also work remotely for school and work. So I don't get a lot of human interaction during the day. So these pro these items during the program are what I really look forward to. Um, and then some things that I've done that are kind of outside the classroom realm is um, Global Connect Night, which is hosted through KDSLA, which is the Student Leadership Association. Um, so every quarter, someone hosts an in-person happy hour, or dinner, or brunch in each city. So you get to meet local Kellys, alumni, and current students. So I've hosted and attended. Um, also, being on the KDSLA board, we got a few in-person opportunities 
to come back to Bloomington to talk to new students about the great things about this program, just like this type of moment. Um, and I hold VP of communications on that. So if you're ever interested in getting more involved, um, definitely recommend being a part of the board because you get to work with really great people like Abigail and help make change. Um, and then I got to attend the Forte conference with Abigail. So I got to meet Abigail in person. Luckily, I live in LA and the Forte conference for last year was in LA. So I got to drive in and um, it was a two-day event really focusing on career path and values of being a woman in business. So it was really cool meeting different professionals from different companies and listening to speaker series. And again, another great opportunity to just have that human interaction and be in person and meet faculty. So overall, it's completely changed my experience. And because of it, I do have a network that I'm walking away from that I have interacted in person with that actually know who I am and my personality. So um, definitely recommend taking advantage of everything. Great, thanks for that, Lauren. Um, does anyone else wanna share anything about um, taking advantage of um, any of our optional sort of um, immersion experiences? I know I got to travel to Ireland with Priya last summer. She wanted to offer any insights to that experience. Yeah, of course. So um, as Lauren mentioned, right, you're in these classes with your with your classmates and, you know, um, Kelly does kind of have a camera on um, attitude when it comes to the live sessions, which is really great. You get to interact with your classmates and then being able to uh, meet up in person intentionally. So um, I did get to go to Dublin for a week. Um, we visited a ton of multinational corporations. So Google, Meta, um, we did get to visit a couple of uh, whiskey distilleries as well. So it's a, a good mix, healthy mix of fun and professional. Um, but it was just overall really great, right? Like um, I did the global immersion towards the end of my program. So I had been in some of these classes with um, some of my classmates for two years. And then we got to all meet and um, spend a week together, similar to Kelly on location and Kelly on campus, being able to be there in, in real time with, with your classmates. Um, it's hard to have kind of a substitute for that, um, but being able to take advantage of it was a really great um, part of Kelly Direct. Great. Thanks, Priya. And I know that, um, you know, one of the things that folks said about why they chose the program was because of the flexibility. Those domestic and global immersions are optional. So I don't know if anyone else had any insight into um, maybe not choosing those and the flexibility that the program gave and how you found networking outside of that. Yeah, I can speak to that a little bit. Um, as I mentioned, you know, I had my daughter just starting the program. So for me, as much as I wanted and would have loved to be able to travel, it just wasn't the right time. Um, and it it had no negative impact, the fact that I couldn't. There were still a lot of opportunities to interact with classmates uh, virtually and through the uh, on-campus options. Uh, I came in at a time where I actually never made it to campus for the second time because I was supposed to go and then COVID hit and it was canceled and when it was rescheduled, um, again, it, with, with work and things, it didn't work out. So I was able to select other course options to cover for that uh, at that point. But I was still able to make connections virtually through everybody. That's the one thing I really liked about the program is even though it's virtual, the classes are structured in a way that really still allows you to get to know people. And so I still have friends like everybody else that maybe I, I've never met in person. Uh, but I still call on them when I have questions or, you know, work related or not, you know, still can build those relationships even without having that in-person experience, which I think is, is a really good thing that the program does. Great. Thanks for offering that insight, Kate. Um, Again, one of the things that um, was touched on already was sort of getting involved on in the program. So can um, Samantha and Anna talk a little bit about sort of the impact of getting involved um, while in the program and maybe the ways to do that? Yeah, I can go first. So I currently um, am the VP of allyship for women in business um, for our KD um, chapter. 
Um, and I think for me, it comes down to continuing to build that community. It's very difficult sometimes when you don't get to see them in person and you're limited to maybe the class that you're taking that quarter um, and you're interacting with those same 30, 40 people in that class. And it's nice to bridge across classes, bridge across um, cohorts to work together on um, a committee. Um, so being on the Women on Business, it's um, been um, an experience um, that I can really kind of point to and say, you know, we're empowering each other, we're putting together um, events that kind of highlight um, and um, like highlight mentorship or highlight advocacy towards like empowering women um, in other industries. It's really interesting to um, highlight different senior speakers every quarter um, to talk about their experiences throughout their own career journeys. Um, so yeah, it's just another way to build that community within Kelly Direct. Yeah, I will agree. While I don't hold any leadership positions just because I juggle a lot, like I mentioned, I have two little ones at home. So sometimes life gets crazy and um, I would have wanted to be more involved. I'm a member of a lot of these uh, groups. And so when I have the bandwidth and the time, I will join and connect with fellow Kellys, which is nice. So um, one of the things that's awesome about Kelly Direct is you make of it what you want, right? So like it, it depends a lot on your schedule and your flexibility and what your interests are. So if you want to be a board member, I have friends who are and have heard amazing things. If you don't have the bandwidth and just want to participate in some of the events, you're always welcome and invited to join um, the events that the different groups host. So it, it just gives you a lot of flexibility to connect with students based on your schedule and your availability. And there's no pressure, right? Like I've never felt pressure like, oh, you need to be a board member. You need to do this, this, and this. It really is up to your schedule and what you can handle and what you want to get out of the program, which is really cool. Great, thanks to both of you. Does anyone else have any insights they wanted to offer in terms of getting involved or taking advantage of um, events outside of the classroom? I will say that in attending a lot of these events, you end up meeting people from all across the world really, but definitely across the US. And I've had a lot of people come through LA for work and I've gotten to get dinner and lunch with these classmates that I otherwise wouldn't have seen in person. So it really adds another layer of connection that a lot of people don't think you would get through an online program. So that's why Katie really is unique because I know some other friends that are in different online programs and they do not get this kind of experience or connection. Great, thank you, Lauren. Um, so I wanted to um, ask Priya and Katie to share a little bit about, um, as alumni, um, what kind of impact did completing your MBA have on your career? Yeah, so I'll go ahead and jump in. For me, um, making that move from industry to consulting and then also wanting to switch what I was doing um, from a day to day, completing the MBA and being able to major in strategy and leadership gave me um, a lot of tools that I use in my day to day work. Um, I look at some of the problems that we face in a different way than I would have pre MBA. Um, it also was like everyone's mentioned, Kelly is such a name brand um, when it comes to MBA programs that having that on my resume when I was making that switch and, you know, switching companies um, was just overall very helpful for me. Um, and, you know, having those connections, being able to reach out to Kelly alum at different companies while I was doing that job search was also um, how I used my MBA post um, post graduation. Yeah, and for, for me, it's similar, but also a little different. As I mentioned before, um, I'm still in the same position that I was in when I started. And when I first started that first uh, time on campus, I had a meeting with the, my career coach. And it was kind of a discussion of what my plan was. And at the time, I, my plan wasn't to look to change jobs. My plan wasn't to 
uh, you know, try to pivot from where I was. It was more of I wanted to be better at my current position and continue to move up in the role that I'm in right now. And Katie kind of has allowed me to do that. I have a greater connection with many of my clients because I work with clients who are more of a finance background. And, and I personally, my background, my undergraduate degree is in engineering. So it, it allowed me to get that perspective to where I have a better understanding of what my clients need, what they are thinking about, some of the things that I may not have known before. That being said, Kelly does have the graduate career services that like I mentioned, I talked to a, a career coach and there's a lot of options even afterwards, like job boards. So at, at this point, you know, I'm perfectly happy in my career and hoping to continue to progress, but there's still those options there that I can use should I decide to, you know, just see what's out there. Uh, you know, Katie gives a lot of resources from the uh, toolkits that help with resume building and uh, networking or you know your personal branding to kind of help make sure that you have everything that you need in order to be successful, whether it is in choosing that path that you're just getting better at yourself and and moving where you are or completely switching and trying something something really brand new. Great. Thanks to both of you for sharing those stories. Um, to be mindful of time, we'll go ahead and um, start with sort of more wrap-up question. But if folks have things that they want to put in the Q&A, we'll see if we can get to them. Um, I'd like for each panelist to kind of share. Um, maybe we can go in the same order that we did introductions. Um, maybe one of your um, Kelly um, moments, as we call them. So something that sort of impacted you personally, professionally, in a major way that was sort of a highlight of your experience um, with Katie. Um, so for me, it was Kelly on campus, um, pulling what was almost an all-nighter, preparing for our case competition. Um, you know, it was really nice as a, a team to come together, work really hard. We were running to CVS. It, our case competition was around um, posts, the company, so they do cereal. So we were running there, grabbing actual post cereal, um, putting together vision boards and putting together slides and pitching it um, to our professors that we actually just had a class with. Um, so it was really, um, it was just a really great team moment to realize like, these are the people that I'm going to be going through the program with. This is the professor that just taught my class. Um, I just really felt um, like a sense of community. Like it all goes back to community and really feeling that like Kelly connection um, with my fellow students and professors. My Kelly moment was while on the global immersion in Thailand, a group of us after our day of experiencing different companies went to a cooking class. And after you cook the whole meal, you get to sit down as a family and eat it. And a lot of us hadn't had classes together before together. And everyone got very deep with getting to know each other and their backgrounds and where they come from. And in that moment, I was like, wow, I'm sitting in a room with a bunch of strangers in a foreign country that I've never been to before eating food that I can't pronounce. And it was just such a raw experience. And now these are some of my closest friends. So, and everyone was in completely different age ranges. So it was, it was a really unique experience that I will never forget. Uh, for me, it has to be all sail on Kelly on campus, a little bit different from Samantha. It's like what happened after the classes and, you know, like you, you get to go to dinner with friends and get to know people. Um, and similar to Lauren, like, you know, these are people that I haven't, that I hadn't met in person, right? And we come from all different backgrounds, different industries. I think when you've been working for so long, you're almost like so laser focused, it's like the same type minded people, if that makes sense. And so we had some of the best conversations I'm telling you until like 2 a.m. in the lobby of the hotel just because we were so intrigued about like DEI and our backgrounds and our goals and our families and it was just something that's so enriching and like that just builds the connections um, with your fellow Kellys that really you know form those friendships and I'm looking forward to going in a couple of weeks and having some more of those uh, conversations um, and late nights just to connect with the fellow Kellys. Similarly, uh, mine was probably with um, our kickoff dinner in Dublin, where we all, you know, we, it was the first time a lot of us had met in person. 
and we all had, you know, a traditional Irish meal. And then there was also Irish music and dancing. And at one point, um, the band had um, classmates and professors just pulled them randomly to to the dance floor and had them um, do Irish dancing. And it was just a very um, unstructured start to our week in Dublin, but it, it kind of really helped break the ice as well. And a, a lot of us, you know, we, we joke around about, um, you know, all the volunteers, but it, it really did help um, all of us kind of meet and interact and, and really build those those relationships for, for that week and then onwards. For me, um, it's actually a little bit different because it's really hard to decide on just one moment because there really are so many. Um, but for me, I was really drawn to taking leadership classes. Uh, it was just because it's something that I really enjoyed and I learned a lot from. And being able to take truly some of the things that I was getting in those classes and then applying it to my team that I am work, working with on a day-to-day -day basis. And they were well aware that this is stuff I'm doing in my class because I kind of was testing the waters and kind of seeing like, okay, we learned about this. How does it actually work You know, in real life? Uh, and I was kind of amazed like we we really were able to transform some of the things we were doing and I, I honestly think it's because I was able to kind of take in it was there were some leadership classes about more understanding yourself and the way that you're a leader and how you need to be a leader to other people that do things differently and so being able to take something that I learned and, and really apply it in my job and, and see that impact uh, was really kind of meaningful to me. Awesome. Thank you so much for those insights into the impact that Kelly Direct had on your experience. Um, it was lovely to have you all on the call today. Um, again, we um, are going to wrap up now just for time's sake, but if anyone has any questions or wants to talk more, feel free to reach out to us at kdirect at indiana.edu. Um, and we can also um, get some connections to these students, to our current students and alumni. Um, if folks had specific things that were brought up that they wanted to follow up about, um, I imagine that they would be happy to, to connect with you um, as part of our great Kelly network. So thanks everyone for being on the call today. Um, we enjoyed having you, bye.